Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In today's video, we will inshallah be proving how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad salam is truthful according to none other than the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam himself. Yes, you heard that right. Firstly, let's take a look at this hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam stated, Whoever has seen me in a dream, then no doubt he has seen me, for Satan cannot imitate my shape. So according to this hadith, anyone who sees the Prophet ﷺ in his dream has not seen an imposter, rather he has seen the Prophet himself. The reason why that background information about the hadith is so important is because not only did the Messiah ﷺ himself see the Prophet ﷺ in his dreams, but there are numerous instances of other people seeing the Prophet ﷺ in a dream testifying to the truthfulness of the Messiah salam, SubhanAllah For example, this letter from Sayyid Ashaduddin who stated I saw the Messenger of Allah SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam in a vision I respectfully submitted to him O Messenger of Allah Is this man who claims to be the Prophet Messiah a liar and a fraud? Or is he genuine? The Messenger of Allah replied He is truthful and has been appointed by God I understood then that you are righteous meaning and henceforth, I will entertain no doubt about your claims, nor have any uncertainty about your dignity. I will do whatever you command. If you ask me to go to America, I will go there because I have given myself over to you. And God willing, you will find me obedient. So it's one thing to say the Messiah السلام, saw these dreams about the Prophet وسلم, but the fact that others also saw these dreams and visions undoubtedly proved the truthfulness of the Messiah Nevertheless, we have this beautiful dream where the Messiah السلام, saw the Prophet وسلم, in his dream years before the Messiah's prophethood. Let's take a look at this dream. In 1864-1865, when I was still young, meaning the Messiah السلام, and busy in the acquisition of knowledge, I saw the Holy Prophet وسلم, in a dream. I was holding a religious book which appeared to be of my penmanship. The Holy Prophet وسلم, looked at the book and asked in Arabic, What have you named this book? I replied respectfully that I had named it Qutbi, from the Polar Star. The real meaning of this name became apparent to me only at the time when the poster announcing the reward money was published. The name implies that this book is stable and fixed like the Polar Star, and announcing the reward of 10,000 rupees has publicized its stability and fixed like the Polar Star, and announcing the reward of 10,000 rupees has publicized its stability and strength. The Holy Prophet وسلم, took the book from me, and as soon as his blessed hands touched the book, it turned into a pleasantly colored and beautiful fruit, which looked like a guava but was of the size of a watermelon. When the Holy Prophet وسلم, tried to slice the fruit, honey flowed out of it in such abundance that his arms were drenched by the honey up his elbows. Then a dead man lying outside the door regained life through the miracle of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and came in and stood behind me. I stood before the Holy Prophet وسلم, like a plaintiff stands before a judge and he was seated on a chair with great majesty and splendor like a powerful wrestler. The Holy Prophet وسلم, handed me a slice of the fruit for the purpose of giving it to the resurrected person and then dropped the rest of the slices on my outstretched shirt. I gave that one slice to the resurrected person and he ate it right there. When he finished eating, I noticed that the Holy Prophet ﷺ's chair was considerably elevated from its previous position and his forehead was shining and emanating rays like the sun. This was a sign for the revival and progress of Islam. My eyes were still looking at that shining light when I woke up. All praise be to Allah for this. In the days immediately after seeing this dream, I narrated it to about 200 people. They know that at the time, I had no intention of writing but Hini Ahmadiyya or any other religious book or offering a reward of 10,000 rupees to prove its metal. It is apparent now that the dream prophesied a number of things, several of which have already been fulfilled. The stability and strength implied in uh, Qutabi, the name given to the book in the dream, became apparent to the world when a challenge, backed by a large reward, was given to show conclusively the truth of Islam. Everyone should await the fulfillment of those parts of the dream that have not yet materialized. Certainly the heavenly decrees cannot be avoided. So not only did the Messiah see 
the Prophet ﷺ in his dream, but in that very same dream, prophecies of the future manifested into reality. So my question to the non-Ahmadis are, how can this ever be bestowed upon a liar? Some ignorant people might claim that the Prophet Sallallahu just made all of this up. Not only do they ignore the numerous other testimonies that others experienced, which was shown earlier, but subhanAllah, they also ignore the Qur'an. Allah states in this verse, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الظَّالِمُونَ Meaning that, and who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah, or he who gives the lie to his communications? Surely the unjust will not be successful. So Allah states that those who invent a lie against him will not be successful. Now it is a challenge to the non-Ahmadis to bring a single instance where the Messiah salam, was not successful. Until the Day of Judgment, they will never be able to find such a case. Just for good measure, here are some of the thousands of examples of how Allah protected the Messiah salam, and allowed him to carry on his mission and prosper. The Messiah salam, lived for more than 30 years after he first claimed divine revelation publicly. He was also saved from numerous attempts of when his enemies tried to go as far as to kill him. He was also acquitted from various trials in court. He was saved from the rampant plague during his lifetime. He won all of his prayer duels and his enemies were utterly humiliated and he came out to be the winner. And again, these are just a few of the thousands of signs and it is a request for anyone else interested in looking at all of the signs to view Hakikatul Wahi, which contains over 200 signs of the Messiah truthfulness. The non-Ahmadis are left with two options now. The first one is to admit that the Qur'an lies when it says those who invent a lie against Allah will not prosper. Since Ahmad according to them, invented a lie against Allah and his messenger, yet he most certainly prospered and successfully carried out his mission, bi iznillah. Or the non Ahmadis accept what the Quran says and accept the truthfulness of the Messiah as well. May Allah allow all of us to see the truth. Assalamu alaikum.